Okay, example for the ideal gas. Okay, number one. Okay, number one. The volumetric analysis of air is 25% oxygen. And Seventy five percent of nitrogen. Letter A. Find the moles of nitrogen per mole of oxygen. Letter B, what is the ratio of kilogram nitrogen per kilogram of oxygen? Okay. Again, the volumetric analysis of air is 25% oxygen, 75% nitrogen. Ah, wait. 100, ano? Tama? Okay. Okay, solution for letter A. For letter A, Moles of nitrogen over the moles of the oxygen is equal to the number of moles of nitrogen <laughs> over the number of moles of oxygen. Okay, therefore we have uh, for the nitrogen that is 75%, 0. 0.75 over uh, oxygen, 25. 0.25. 0.25. 3.0 moles nitrogen over moles of oxygen. Okay, letter B. Okay, for letter B, the, requir uh, the requirements is what is the ratio of kilogram nitrogen per kilogram oxygen. Okay, therefore we have the value of your moles per uh, moles nitrogen over the moles of the oxygen is 3. We have 3.0 moles nitrogen over the moles oxygen equal to 3.0, it is the same as cubic feet of the nitrogen over cubic feet of oxygen. Okay. Or that is 3.0 cubic meter nitrogen over cubic meter of oxygen. Okay. Kilogram of nitrogen over the kilogram of oxygen is equal to the mass of nitrogen over the mass of oxygen, okay. which is equal to N times the molecular weight 
of nitrogen over N times the molecular weight of oxygen, which is equal to what is your N? Uh, point, point 0.75 by now point 0.75. Point 0.75 times molecular weight, which is 28%. Therefore, that, ah, no, times 28 molecular weight ng nitrogen, 28, then 0. 0.25 times 32 molecular weight of the oxygen. Okay, therefore, that is equal now to. 2.63 kilogram nitrogen over kilogram of oxygen. Note, atmospheric air has a volumetric composition of 20.99% oxygen and 78.033 nitrogen, less than 1% argon, with some quantities of inert gases such as water vapor, carbon dioxide, helium, hydrogen, and neo, uh, neon. For engineering calculation, term, uh, temperature by volume of all inert gases will be included in the percentage of nitrogen, thus the composition 21% oxygen and 79% nitrogen by volume will be used. Kasi yung original niya is 21% ng oxygen and 79% ng nitrogen. Okay. Then we have example number 2. Okay. Determine the density and Specific volume of air of air at room condition. Now, okay. Uh, if you notice, uh, you will say there's no given. No, there's a given because of the room. Uh, condition. Determine the density and specific volume of air at room condition. Therefore, we have the constant value for the temperature and the pressure. Okay. Remember under the STP, when you say STP, that is a uh, standard temperature pressure. Okay. Pag, uh, when you say STP, the constant value for the pressure is the values under the atmospheric pressure. While for the standard temperature, that is 273 Kelvin and 460 degree Rankine. Okay. Therefore, we have the density, which is equal to pressure over RT. Okay. Where the pressure is 101.325 kilopascal over... Uh, R, which is the specific gas constant of air, that is 287, uh, 287 joule per kilogram Kelvin. R for air is equal to 0 0.287 kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin. Or that is 200, uh, since kilo ang pressure, we're going to use your kilo in the specific gas constant, 0.287 kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin times the temper uh, absolute temperature. Okay, since this one at room condition, the, we have 25 plus 273. Okay. Temperature at room condition, we have 25 ba? Ano, we're not going to use pala the standard temperature. Instead, that is 25 plus 273. The temperature at room condition is 25 degrees Celsius. 
Kaya this one would be in Kelvin. Pascal is Newton per square meter. Okay, cancel yung kilo natin. We have kilojoule. Kilojoule is, joule is Newton meter. Pascal is Newton per square meter. Okay, therefore we have cancel the Kelvin. Joule and then Newton cancel. We have the density cubic meter per kilogram. Therefore, the density is okay. Therefore, the density is equal to 1.18 kilogram per cubic meter. Okay. That is only the density. For the specific volume, specific volume is 1 over the density. Therefore, that is 1 over 1.18 kilogram per cubic meter. The specific volume is equal to 0 0.847 cubic meter per kilogram. Okay, problem number three. Okay. The volume of the passenger compartment of an aircraft is 2,500 cubic meter. An automatic equipment maintains the air inside the plane at a pressure of 95 kilopascal and a temperature of 22 degrees Celsius. Now, letter A, calculate the mass of the air inside the plane. Letter B, determine the percent increase in the mass of the air if the pressure is increased increase to 101 kilopascal and the temperature and the temperature drops to 20 degrees celsius okay. now let us proceed for problem number three okay first Okay, for the system, air, of course, air inside the aircraft. Okay. In a uh, specific gas constant of air is equal to 0.287 kilojoule per kilogram 
Kelvin. Given and for given state, state one, we have P one is equal to ninety five kilopascal. T1, absolute temperature, is 22 degrees Celsius plus 273. Condition, volume is constant. For state 2, we have P2 is equal to 101 kilopascal. Then your T2 is 20 degrees Celsius plus 273. For letter A, mass is equal to pressure volume over RT, which is equal to 95 times 2,500 over 95 ang given. We have 95 kilopascal. Then, then 2,500 cubic meter. Okay, let us write down the unit. 95 kilopascal, then 2,500 cubic meter. 2,500 cubic meter. Okay. And then the gas constant, uh, specific gas constant, 0.287 kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin. Okay. Then the temperature, T1, 22 degrees Celsius plus 273. Okay. The, uh, the value for the mass is uh, equal to 2,805.17 kilogram. Okay. Letter A, the requirement is the mass of the air inside the plane. Therefore, that is 2,805.17 kilogram. Okay. Uh, for letter B, determine the percent increase in the mass of the air if the pressure is increased to 101 kilopascal and the temperature drops to 20 degrees Celsius. Okay. For letter B, if the pressure of the air is increased, letter B, okay. if the pressure of the air is increased and the temperature is decreased, the mass of the air must increase because the volume of air remains constant. Okay, therefore, we have M2 is equal to P2 V2 over RT2. But your V2 is the same as V1, which is equal to 2,500 cubic meter. Okay, therefore, M2 is equal to uh, 101 kilopascal and then 2,500 cubic meter over the specific gas constant 0.287 uh, kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin times the temperature is the temperature 20 plus 273. 20 plus 273. M2 is equal now to 3,002.70 kilogram. Now, the percent increase in the mass of the air Inside the plane is uh, 
percent increase is equal to M2 minus M1 over M1 times 100 percent. Okay. Substitute percent increase is equal to 3002.7 minus 2805.17 over 2805.17 times 100%. Okay, therefore, this one is equal to 7.04%. Okay, we have also the combined gas law. We have P1, V1 over T1 is equal to P2, V2 over T2. Okay, example number four. Example number four. Okay, example number four. The absolute. Pressure. of an ideal changes from 100 kilopascal absolute to 10. 110 kilopascal absolute to 965 kilopascal absolute while maintaining a constant temperature. constant temperature if the initial volume is 100, 100 liters, what is what is the Final volume in liters. Okay. What are the given? P1 is 110 kilopascal. P1, 110 kilopascal absolute. Then P2 is 965. 965 kilopascal absolute. Then we have your V1 10 100 liter. V1 is 100 liters or that is also equal to 0.1 cubic meter. Requirement is V2 Condition, temperature is constant. Therefore, T1 is the same as T2. Okay, formula. P1, V1 over T1 is equal to P2, V2 over T2. Since temperature is constant, which means your T1 is the same as T2, cancel. Okay, therefore, we have P1. Substitute the values. We have 110 kilopascal absolute times V1 is 0.1 cubic meter 
equal to 100 meters. Okay, 100 meters. P2 is 965 kilopascal absolute times P2. Okay, V2 is equal to 0 0.011 40 cubic meter or V2 is equal to 11.40 liters. 